Hello there, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to your freestyle love reading for the second half of May. We are looking into your love life and seeing what's going on, what's coming your way for the rest of the month. Keep in mind, time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. Happy birthday to my Taurus sons out there. I hope you have a wonderful birthday season with many, many years to come. And if you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And returning Taurus, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. You know how much I appreciate all of my lovely Taurus. So let's get right into it, Taurus. We are looking into how you're feeling about your person, how you're feeling about love. Let's just see what they got. How is Taurus doing? What's going on for Taurus? Show me. How is Taurus doing with love? What's going on? We have the Seven of Swords. All right, so you're having a hard time trusting love. Some of you are avoidant right now. Some of you are avoiding love. Some of you are not interested in love. Some of you may be avoiding a specific person, or you are having a hard time trusting. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What's going on for Taurus? Why is the Seven of Swords here? What's going on for Taurus, the High Priestess? Yeah, you're very to yourself. I don't know if you feel like this person has secrets or you have some things that you are holding close to your chest, but you definitely look very avoidant towards love here or you're just in a position of trying to pay attention to your intuition, high priestess, Pisces, Virgo energy. Possibly you feel maybe ignored or maybe you feel a sense of the other person pulling back. I feel like this is kind of you avoiding love or avoiding feelings, but you may be feeling like somebody's doing this to you. High Priestess, why is this here for what's going on for Taurus? King of Cups. Yeah, so there's a huge avoidance of feelings here. You're avoiding your feelings or you're just straight up avoiding love. Some of you are actually just avoiding a water sign. Could very be specific right there. But I definitely feel a sense of fear-based energy around love. Very much not wanting to get too deep or get too emotional. So your person may be viewing you this way. How are they viewing Taurus? How are they viewing Taurus? How is this person viewing Taurus as the hermit? Yeah, they're viewing you as to yourself. So I'm getting it that you're the avoidant nature. You're the avoidant energy. I apologize. You're the avoidant one that's not necessarily interested in love right now. They look at you as very to yourself. They look at you as somebody who's uninterested, the hierophant. They may view you as somebody who is very focused on their work or on their higher level positioning. Some of you, this person is viewing you as somebody who is focused on their spiritual growth. I definitely feel work for a lot of you, Taurus, Hierophant, this is your energy. This person is looking at you very to yourself. Some of you, you're in a totally different relationship, and this person feels like you're avoiding them for a different person. Some of you with the Hierophant. Why is this person viewing Taurus in this way? The Three of Swords. Yeah, this person is very, very hurt. This person is very pained. Wherever you're placing your energy that is not this person, it is causing them a lot of hurt a lot of heartbreak here. I feel like this person does not like the fact that you are not around their energy or that you are avoiding feelings or just avoiding them in general. There's definitely an extreme nature of feeling a sense of hurt because you are so pulled back. They view you as pulled back. They view you as somebody who is in hermit mode, which is somebody who is in solitude. So let's see if this person is going to take any actions towards you, Taurus. Is this person going to take actions towards Taurus? Show me what this person's actions towards Taurus will be. We have the Knight of Cups. So this person still wants to pursue you. This person still loves you. This person still has feelings for you. This person wants you to know this. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Their actions. The Four of Swords. They want to pursue you for a sense of healing. This person feels like if they're not loving you, then they know who they're going to love. That like this person is kind of like their heart is set on you. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe some of you Taurus are not ready for commitment just yet. Maybe you're, there's a commitment elsewhere. Maybe you're committed to work. Maybe you're committed to self. But there's definitely a sense of this person feeling like the only way that they can heal 
is if Taurus starts loving them again. They feel like they'll find this healing with you. They'll feel like they'll find this healing in their heart if you just open up to loving them. Why is this their actions towards Taurus, the Knight of Pentacles? I feel like they're going to be patient with you. Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. They're going to be patient with this coming back together. They're going to be patient with a sense of reconciliation between the two of you. They're definitely going to be patient on waiting about this. I feel like they don't like the fact that they have to wait. But I feel like they kind of have no choice here in terms of... I feel like this person has a fear of rejection. I feel like this person wants to come your way, but they fear a sense of hurt. So they're kind of just focused on attempting to heal on their own. But this person doesn't feel like they'll get their full-on healing unless they're in your energy. Three of Cups, why is this their actions? Two of Swords, Strength. This person really wants reconciliation, but their fear of not receiving your attention back is definitely getting this person um, in a very strong fear-based mode. This person feels like if they come your way, you'll either not answer at all, or you'll be dry, or you'll not care, or you'll just ignore them. And this person feels like that will just cause them even more pain, no matter how much they still want to pursue you. So, interesting. How does Taurus feel about this person? Even though we see you avoiding them, does Taurus have any feelings for this person? Five of Cups. You have a feeling of disappointment towards this person. Sadness. Five of Cups. Why is this Taurus feelings? Eight of Swords. You feel like maybe this person puts you in your head or there are outside influences that cause you to feel like worst case scenario of what would happen if you two coupled up. Eight of Swords. Ten of Cups. Yeah. I don't know. I definitely feel like there is a very large sense of disappointment. Kind of like things didn't go in the way that maybe you expected things to go with this person or how you wanted things to go with this person. I definitely feel like you'd rather not overthink love. So that may be why you're just avoiding this energy or maybe you don't want to cause overthought for yourself, people around you, distractions, whatever the case may be, could be outside influences. You definitely look like you're in a position of not wanting to focus on this person for whatever reason why all right so let's see for my taurus singles for taurus singles what's coming towards my taurus singles way for taurus singles what's coming towards my taurus singles who are not connecting or have someone on their mind taurus singles Queen of Cups, Sun, and the King of Pentacles. All right, Taurus singles, you definitely look okay being single. You definitely look very to yourself. I feel like you are in a position of making sure that you're not in your feelings. So definitely a general message on that. Why is this here for Taurus singles? Six of Cups, High Priestess, Two of Cups. All right, so you're having the same sort of uh, vibe a little bit. Well, at least the same energies are coming in. Uh, more water once again. I definitely feel like for some of you Taurus here, if you are single even, I feel like you know that there's somebody interested in you, could be a past person. I feel like you are aware of that. I feel like you are aware that you two are in a sense of silent treatment. With the Two of Cups here, some of you may have a newer energy that you are more interested in pursuing. Others of you Taurus singles, maybe you actually do have feelings for this person, but... You're extremely avoidant. Maybe you feel like this person has secrets or this person is a liar. That could be why. Star, lovers, seven of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you Taurus, you are just in a waiting period, especially my single Taurus as well. I see you just waiting to see what you want to do with this. Could be the same sort of situation that's connected to the first spread. But I definitely feel like a lot of you, Taurus, you either have a decision between two people, past, probably new, maybe two past, whatever the case may be. Or some of you are just contemplating this person that you're avoiding. You're just like, what do I do here? I don't know what to do here. I feel like feelings are there even if you want to avoid them. But everybody's going to be different, right? In terms of zodiac signs in the spread, very strong Virgo, very strong Pisces, 
Um, you got that a lot. You also have some Leo here as well. So, Taurus, let's get a oracle and then we'll look into each zodiac sign's feelings for you. This is for Taurus. All right, Taurus, you have this card. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Some of you, it's only on that level with all of this avoidant of emotions. Uh, maybe you feel like they just want that, so you're avoiding them. They may feel like you just want that, and they're avoiding you, or they're just like, there's trust issues involved. Whatever, this is the story they're giving me. Resonate it to you how you do, and if it doesn't resonate, it's probably not your story. So let's see, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Please show me each zodiac sign's feelings for Taurus. All right, let's see. Aries feelings for you. Seven of Cups. Aries is confused. You're making them feel confused. Maybe Aries has options here. <clears throat> Hermit. I feel like they're trying to be to themselves as much as possible with the fact of either that they have options or thinking you do. Taurus, feelings for you, Queen of Cups, Star, they have feelings for you, they're wishing and hoping for more love between the two of you, Gemini's feelings for you, Knight of Cups, Hanged Man, they have feelings for you, they want to pursue you, but they may be feeling a little bit stuck on how to pursue you here, Gemini, no, Cancer, the sun, and the magician. So Cancer is manifesting you right now. They're trying their best to manifest you in. I feel like they want this connection. Leo's feelings, five of pentacles, queen of wands. Leo's trying to find their confidence after you left them out. Um, they may try to act like they don't care, or they just try to act like they're fine without you. Some of you, they actually are. Some of you, they're just doing that purposely. Virgo's feelings for you. Three of Wands. High Priestess. They turn their back on this connection. Libra's feelings for you. Five of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Libra wants to apologize for conflict that they started. Um, Scorpio. Moon. King of Pentacles. Scorpio's hiding the fact that maybe they're uncommittal. You could be dealing with a Scorpio who's very focused on work, too, and hiding their feelings. Sagittarius, strength, ace of wands. Sagittarius has been pulled back, but they're going to decide to reach out to you. Maybe they hurt you. Maybe you hurt them. Um, but they're going to try to say something to you again. We have here Capricorn, two of pentacles, queen of swords. Capricorn is deciding to cut off this connection or pull back. Aquarius, ace of swords, six of swords. Aquarius wants to have a healing conversation. Pisces, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Pisces, um, wanted commitment with you, but they're hurt at the fact that maybe you don't want it, maybe there's third energy involved. Pisces feels um, hurt over the lack of reliability or support they get from you. That's what I got. Thank you, Taurus, for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your month. I'll talk to y'all soon. Let me know down in the comments below how you like this style of reading. Bye now.